Stella Songbird and the Symphony of the Storm by Lauren Wright At the edge of the enchanted forest, where the trees whispered secrets to the wind and flowers danced in the sunlight, lived Stella Songbird. Cheerful and adventurous, Stella was well known for her love of music. Her sweet melodies filled the air from dawn to dusk, bringing joy to all those who lived in the village of Whimsywood. As the seasons began to change, Stella felt a stirring in her heart. Her song, which had once echoed the warm days of summer, now felt out of tune with the cool breezes of autumn. She knew she needed a new song, one that captured the essence of the changing seasons, but inspiration eluded her. I need a new melody, Stella said to herself one crisp morning. Something that speaks of the changing leaves and the chill in the air. I must find it. Determined, Stella set off on an adventure to find inspiration. She fluttered to her favorite spots in the enchanted forest, where the last of summer's flowers were in full bloom and the streams sang a gentle lullaby. But today, the familiar sights and sounds did not spark a new tune. Next, Stella flew to the village square in the middle of Whimsywood, hoping the hustle and bustle of the village would inspire her. She perched on the rooftops, listening to the sounds of laughter and the chatter of merchants in the square, but still, no melody came to her. As the day wore on, dark clouds began to gather overhead. A sudden gust of wind rustled the leaves, and Stella realized a storm was approaching. She hurried to find shelter and spotted a nearby tree with a cozy hollow with an inviting entrance. Stella darted inside just as the first raindrops began to fall. The hollow was warm and dry, and to Stella's amazement, it seemed to glow with a soft, magical light. She settled in, listening to the sounds outside. The storm raged on, but inside her hollow, Stella felt safe. She could hear the whooshing of the wind as it danced through the branches, the pitter-patter of the rain as it tapped a rhythm on the leaves, and the deep rumble of thunder that added a powerful bass line to the symphony of the storm. Stella closed her eyes and let the sounds wash over her. She began to hum, matching her melody to the rhythm of the rain and the cadence of the wind. As she listened, a new song began to take shape in her mind, one that captured the wild beauty of the storm and the quiet peace of her magical shelter. The storm eventually passed and the sun peeked through the clouds once more. Stella emerged from the hollow, her heart brimming with a new melody. She flew to her favorite perch in Whimsywood and sang her new song for all to hear. The notes soared and dipped, echoing the whooshing wind, the pitter-patter of rain, and the rumble of thunder. Her friends gathered below, enchanted by the new tune that perfectly captured the changing seasons. That was beautiful, Stella! Timothy Hare exclaimed. It sounds just like the storm. Stella smiled, her heart light with joy. I found inspiration in the most unexpected place, she said. Sometimes you just have to listen to the world around you and let it guide you. From that day on, Stella's new song became a favorite in Whimsywood, a reminder that inspiration can be found in the most surprising places if only you take the time to listen.